You want to know why these people are in constant torment mentally about where you are and in an utter state of shock and confusion? It's because clearly these people were delusional about you. They were extremely delusional. They thought you were one way. They thought you were here and you were there. They just always thought the wrong thing about you for some strange reason. Their delusions got the best of them. And your elevation and where you're going is a constant reminder to them on why they treated you wrong without cause. They knew they were extremely delusional. They didn't really, they still, they didn't realize it, but they do now because you're not where they thought you should be at. They thought you was going to be in a gutter. I'm talking about the gutter gutter. They thought she was the type of person that wasn't going to have faith, have the Holy Spirit, rise in God, rise in your faith and your journey that he had for you. No, these people didn't think that for you. They were in constant delusion. And they clearly suffer from some type of mental illness. I mean, mental. You can literally see the toxic demons and the redness in their face when it came to somebody like you. Because they wanted you to be in the gutter. This is what they planned. But yet you end up rising past that area. And now you in a whole new place for God's glory. See, God didn't like their hearts. He didn't like their attitudes when it came to you. He got tired of them mistreating you. He got tired of them being in delusion, la-la land about you and making it seem like you wasn't the person you were. He got tired of them looking at you like you was a little bitty, itty bitty child when you were a full grown adult and been an adult for over 20 years. They don't, they didn't want to see your growth is what God is saying. They didn't want to see it. But now that you're growing, they're in mental torment because of it. Because what they thought about you is not holding any weight to people because you're in a whole new place. See, while they was wasting their time gossiping and doing all this yap, yap, and yapping about you to other people, snickering, ha ha mocking, making you the public ridicule of their humiliation. Now they're in deep torment and they're no longer laughing anymore because First, you was here with them, level to level. And then you went to this level. And then they look up again 10 years later. Now you at this level. And then they look up again 10 more years later. And now you at a higher level. And they still in the same level that they've been at. This is what's going on with your naysayers right now during this time. This is what's going on with them. They are confused. They the type of people that will sit there for 20 years and wait on you to return. You done already shifted to new heights. You done already traveled the globe. You done already met many people. You met celebrities. You darn near at celebrity status. Shout out to you. You have went travel places. And you forgot about these people that were delusional about you. But they, why you have forgot about them because you're too busy focused on where God have you going and what you're doing, positive things in your life. They in mental torment focusing on the negative and waiting 10 or 20 years for you to come back and entertain their foolishness. No, that's not how this work. You don't wait around for people to return or a person like you to return just so they can start unnecessary drama with you and just so they can have this negative toxic thinking about you to the point where they can't even function right because they are too busy focused on you this is not what you do but this is what these people will do that's how much of a delusion they are in in their mind about you you the type that would be gone and then you will pop up through social media and then they think they saw you every day thinking you still in the same city, in the same town, 
and you haven't even been around that town in 30 years, but they still stuck from when they knew you before because they haven't did anything with their life, because they haven't did anything with their time and energy. They just only focus on you when you return. You have already shifted your mind, matured, elevated, and they still in that same rut that they was in when you knew them 20 years ago. It really does suck to be these people. Because if you're like that, that means you have nothing going on in your life. And why would somebody like you want to be associated with people that has nothing better to do with their time and energy other than harass you, humiliate you, mock you, but yet they haven't went anywhere. They don't want to do nothing for themselves. They wanted to make you the joke of the matter, but now you are no longer the joke. They were constantly in delusion because you were a nice person, because you were quiet, because you were righteous and pure in your heart. They thought you were nobody because you chose the path of righteousness and they chose the broad path of destruction. This is why they came against you so much. But now your elevation has got these people confused about where you are. See, now they're starting to understand the level of delusion they were in because you ain't nowhere to be found and you're clearly not thinking about these people like they were thinking about you all this time. You were the type to pray for these people, lift them up positively, think the best for them, but yet they chose to let the enemy use them and think negative about you. And they wonder why you are being blessed and they are not because they didn't get right with God. They didn't choose to get right with God and God saw their hearts towards you and he just kept them in that frame of delusion the rest of their days as he rightfully should have. Do not come against a child of God like you as he is what he's given these people that were delusional about you. Oh, your toxic family, your toxic mother, your toxic father. Constant delusion about you. See, why are they thinking you were 17, 18? Now you're 34, now you're 35, now you're 40. And they still thinking you in the same place that you were in 10 years ago, but you're not there. These people suffer from mental illness, mental diseases, and everything above you can think of because they refuse to change. Change is supposed to be for the better, but yet they didn't want to change. They want to stay the same. So they expected you to stay the same too, just like them, but you didn't stay the same. You kept growing and elevating. You kept rising and shining. So now they just going to have to stick in their delusions about you why God keeps opening new doors for you and for you to get greater and better and not suffer at the hands of these people no more because they clearly were delusional. They just were utterly delusional when it came to you, but that's not your concern. That's nothing for you to worry about why these people choose to be delusional about you. That's nothing for you to worry about. Only thing you can do is lift them up in prayer, send love and light their way, and keep moving forward on your life purpose that God got for you. Because it's really not worth it getting involved with people that's not going to see your growth, not going to see the, your elevation, not going to see your maturity, and not going to see that you are an adult now and that you're no longer a child and you're no longer a in a child's frame of mind, but you're a full grown adult that does your own thing, that pay your own bills. And God is making a way for you every day. They're not going to see that at all, but that's not your concern that they choose to be like this. So you can move forward in your faith and not worry about these delusional, toxic, low vibrational people anymore, because they clearly wasn't thinking the right thing about you. But now they're wondering, where are you? 
Why don't we see this person? That's their concern and not yours. And that's the prophetic message I have for a royal one on today. Let them be delusional and you keep rising and growing in a positive direction for God's glory for your life. Until next time, family. Bye-bye.